I wanted to show you how to remove a header or footer off of the first two pages of a report. So usually if you have a cover or a title page and a table of contents page as the second page, you don't want to have a header or footer on those two pages. Normally you want the header to start on the top of the page that starts with the text. And the same with the footer, it would begin here. So there's a way that you can go in and uh, remove that and prevent it from uh, appearing on those first two pages. And you would have to do it separately for the header and the footer. So if you had a header and a footer in your document and you don't want those to show up on the first two pages, you would have to do the same process for the header and then you would have to do it for the footer. Okay, so, so the, the thing that you need to keep in mind is that in Word, and I'm just going to double click where, where we've got the header section up here. So you can, you can click into the header or the footer section and you can see it says section one, footer section one, header section one, and so forth. So it's like that throughout the document. Now there may be times where in the document where it jumps to a different section. So this is probably because in the, I'm gonna turn my formatting marks on, in the, the section with columns, it will automatically, when you create columns in a specific section, it will add a section break before and after those columns so that the document knows only that section is supposed to be in two columns. So that can, that can create some differences in your sections and it might look like they're jumping, but they're really not. So you can just keep an eye on some things like that in your document to see if there are different sections going on. Okay, so what we want to do is right now we've got the table of contents and the first page as section one. Okay, but we also have the first page of text as section one. So we don't want the first two pages to be in the same section as the rest of the document. Okay, we want the first two pages to be in one section and then another section should start with the first page of text right here. So ideally what we would want is this to be section two. Okay, so I created my own uh, cover page. If you go in and you create a cover page using the feature here, one of the built-in cover pages. Those, if you add one of those, it will do it a little differently. So I will try to um, address that when I go through and discuss this. So, but right now you can see that it's header and footer section one, okay? So what I want to do to start this page with the text on section two, so that that will start a different section for my header, um, what I want to do is add a section break underneath my table of contents. Now you can do this a couple of different ways. I'm adding it under the table of contents and I'm going to tell it to start my new section on the next page. Or you can go to the top of this page and tell it that you want your section to start on this page. Okay, I just like to do it this way. So <clears throat> what we'll do is go to the uh, to line or so anywhere underneath the table of contents. Under layout, we're going to go to breaks. Make sure you don't use a page break. That is different. We want to use a section break. So if I were going to put it here under me, my table of contents, I want my next page to start the new section. Okay. Whereas, as I told you before, if I started it and my cursor was here, I would say I want to use a continuous section break, which means that it's starting that new section on the same page, okay? So since I'm right here, I'm going to use the next page. Sometimes that will put in another line or maybe even a new blank page, but all you have to do is go in and if it's a new blank page, just delete it. I'm going 
going to delete that blank line there. So now if we go in to the headers, you can see that it says section two. Okay, so that's exactly what we want. Section one and then section two. Okay, so then the rest of the document should flow fairly smoothly. We do have those section breaks in the columns though. So now if I go in and I start typing my header here, let's say I'm going to put that it's for this class and whatever section I might be in. And let's just leave it at that. I'll put the page number in in a minute. But if you do that, you can see it's showing up on the table of contents. It's not showing up on this page um, because there's something up there hiding it. But we don't want it on this table of contents. Okay, So technically, it is still appearing on these first two pages. I think I've got that picture above it so that you can't see it on that page. Okay, So if we went in and see there you go if we move that you can see it right there okay so we want to we want to remove that so what we need to do is look at this so the thing that's preventing it is that if I'm going to click in this header that starts on that first page of text it says same as previous here meaning that whatever I type here is going to be in the the same as previous header, okay? So that means that whatever I type here will appear in the section one header as well, okay? So what I need to do is tell it to not link to that previous section, okay? Again, I can do this a couple of different ways. I can turn off the link to previous, and then I can delete this off of the first page, and it would work fine. But I'm just going to go back in and just show you. If I delete that here, it deletes, deletes it off of the other two pages. So what I'm going to do is link to previous. I'm going to deselect that. You see that goes away. okay? But it's there for the rest of the document, meaning whatever I type there should be the same as the previous section, okay? meaning section two. So now if I go in, And I can put my page number. If I use this option for top of page, notice what it does. It erases what I had there, <laughs> which is okay. I can still go back in and you know type it in here and then tab that over. Or the other option, which I also like, Is. I'm just going to tab over to where I think it should be and then I'm going to go to quick parts to field and I can pull in the page number field from here and I like the ones with the dashes so I'm going to click on OK there so now we have our page number um, it starts at page number one it's not on the first two pages okay so then it goes to page number two three, four, five, six, and so forth. Now this one, it doesn't have the same as previous here, notice, so there's no header. So let's go to that page and I'm going to click in that section and I'm going to say link it to the previous section. So what it's going to do is um, it's going to connect to the previous section. Okay, so once I do that, you can see that the page numbers are correct. Now, let's just say, for example, sometimes in the middle of the document, after you've got section breaks or columns, sometimes it might do some weird things. So let's say this should be page six, but maybe it, maybe it, um, it shows up as page seven and skips a page number. So what you can do is right click on it or you can go to page number and format page numbers. It takes you to the same box, the dialog box. 
Okay, and so what you can do is say, okay, I want to start this at a specific number. So you can tell it to start at six. And there are some times where maybe it will want to start at, um, at zero and you want it to start at one. So then you have to put in that you want to start it at two sometimes. So you have to play around with the numbers a little bit to force it to do what you want if it doesn't automatically continue from that previous section. Okay, so you can format those page numbers quite easily if, um, if for some reason they are not um, in sequence. Okay, so that's how you can remove the header from the first two pages. Now what I will tell you, let me go back in, uh, let me insert one of those cover pages just so that you can see what it will do. I told you I would go back and revisit that. So if I go into the um, footer section or the header section of this built-in template that I used for a cover page, it says first page header section one. Okay, so that's because it, it knows it should be a different first page because it's a header or it's a cover page and there shouldn't be any header or footer on that page. Okay, so, but you can see what that does is it will, um, it should leave most of the uh, remaining ones the same, but sometimes it does some weird things. Um, so you still have to go back in and check and make sure that the rest of the page numbers are correct in the rest of the document. Because sometimes that does, does wreak some havoc um, when, you, when you have an automatic cover page. Okay, so I'm going to undo that. So I, help, I hope that helps a little bit in the um, adding of a uh, section break in there in order to prevent and remove a header or a footer from the first two pages. Again, you have to have that section break in between the two pages, or at least at the beginning of this page, where you want to start the, um, the header or the footer. And I would have to go in and do the same thing for the footer see how it says the same as previous so I would have to de deselect the link to the previous if I were going to do that for the footer so you have to do those separate for the header and the footer okay so they it works really well you just have to practice it and uh, work with a little bit to understand how those section breaks work